Howdy. Welcome. I'm so happy you made it. Let's get into it. Wow, that was a lot. Hi bestie, how are you today? I'm so happy you made it. I am so excited to tell you guys about the trip to Nashville. I'm gonna do a little book haul as I tell you about all the bookstores that we went to and just about the trip in general. And then I'm also gonna have a little vlog posted later about the shenanigans of the trip. So let's just jump right in. So on the first day, Chelsea picked me up from the airport and we had so much time to kill before we could check into the Airbnb. So we ended up going to Half Price Books and this was the first half price books I've ever been to. There is not one near me that I'm aware of. I should probably look into that. But there was a lot of options and they did have newer releases, which I wasn't expecting just because I was like, oh, half price books, they're gonna be all used books. Anyways, they did have the this copy of Powerless by Lauren Roberts that I've been wanting to get for a while. It was marked down from the you know retail price of $20 it was $15.99 so basically free but the half price books was super cute Chelsea said that she saw somebody selling their books to them and it was they were selling Iron Flame, Fourth Wing, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight like a couple books that we've read and loved and she was eyeing the fourth wing copy because she was really wanting to see if they had the sprayed edges, but it was just a regular copy of fourth wing. But this place was really cute. I really enjoyed it. It was definitely out of our way, but we had so much time that it didn't really matter. They had a really big selection here, but it wasn't overwhelming. It wasn't too much for the space, if that makes sense. Gorgeous, stunning, love it. I just have wanted this one for some time now and I didn't want to get too much at the half price books knowing that one I had to get back on a plane and like put all the books in my suitcase. I had to get back on a plane but two we were going to go book shopping the next day and we were going to go to six bookstores so I didn't want to go too crazy at this one so I just ended up getting this. Also this was in the young adult section but I've seen people talk about how spicy it is so which one is it? asking for a friend of course then we went to the airbnb and set up the swag bags for everybody so this is the tote bag that i got made little let's go girls i hope you can see that yes little let's go girls cowgirl boots on there i thought that was so cute so in here were a couple things we had the cups love to see it um one of them there were two designs one uh one says howdy and the other one were some boots so we had this everyone had a pair of sunglasses in there little heart-shaped sunglasses because this was a galentine's trip so little heart-shaped sunglasses i really hope you can see this a um lifetime member of the cowboy romance book club bookmark we had stickers in there we also let me go grab them actually i saw these and i was like these need to be added to the swag bags because they were just the perfect addition and he's the perfect man. It just made sense. So I still haven't eaten it, but added this to the bag. Everybody also had a blind date with a book. So I went through everybody's Goodreads and Amazon wish list, cross-referenced them to find the perfect book for each person. And I did that because I have on my Amazon wish list, there are books on there that I've read already. So that's what I was, I've read them on my Kindle, but I want the physical copy. So that's what I was doing. I was making sure that even if it's on their Amazon wish list, if it's on their Goodreads as not read, then I would get it. So I think, so I ended up getting the three of them books and then Chelsea got me my book that was a surprise. So I got Chelsea Done and Dusted, Bailey A Dawn of Onyx, and I got Maddie Last Call at the Local, which I loved, loved, loved that book. So I was so happy to get that one for her. And then for me, Chelsea got me Trial of the Sun Queen. And I picked this up when I was at Target with her and was like, oh, explaining what the book is about. Although I haven't read it, just what I've heard about it. I was like, oh yeah, I heard it's kind of like The Bachelor meets The Hunger Games, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling her. And I was going to buy it. And she was just like, oh, okay. Not being like super interested in the book because she already bought it for me. So this is the book that she got me. 
I think it's an unfinished series, but after finishing Kingdom of Ash, I need more fantasy in my life and I'm just trying to fill this void. So hopefully this helps with that. So the next day was our bookstore crawl. So the first stop on our list was McKay's, which is this gigantic used bookstore. They also had CDs, DVDs, games. They had um, those little, I don't know what they're called. Those little like figurines that are kind of like bobbleheads. I hope you know what I'm talking about. They had a bunch of those, but it was almost overwhelming. There were so many options that it just felt like too much. The only person that got something at this bookstore was Bailey. Um, I didn't see anything that really caught my eye. Some of the books were marked down to the point where it would make sense and it was like a good deal to get the book there, but others were just marked down a dollar or two, which wasn't really enticing for a book that I didn't really go there looking for. I hope that makes sense. But this was amazing. The amount of books that they had there was incredible. We went to the second story and you could see so many bookshelves. It really, really was overwhelming and it was hard to find what I was looking for, which I was just looking for something that was like fantasy romance, but also I actually don't know what I was looking for. I was, I had just finished Kingdom of Ash before coming on this trip. So I was more looking for something to fill this void I've been talking about. So I wanted fantasy romance and the fantasy section wasn't crazy. The romance section was really well organized. They had a lot of different options here. I also just wasn't mentally prepared to go looking through things. But if you have time to sit there and like sift through the books and like you're really there with an abundant amount of time, then this is like the bookstore to go to. I felt like, well, we still have five bookstores to go to. So I don't want to spend an obscene amount of time digging through the bookshelves to find something that I might like. So I was okay with just walking around the aisles and having a good time but I wasn't here to like really go looking for like the one book that I really wanted. Next up was Parnassus. We went to Parnassus and it was super, super cute. They had a little sliding ladder, but for employee use only, which hurt my heart a little bit because I just wanted to take a picture on it. I didn't even want to slide around. I just wanted to take a picture on it. I probably could have asked now that I think about it. I probably could have been like, hey, pretty please. I'll give you one hug. But the options they had there were super cute. They had local authors. They had a really cute kid section here with like this little mini door that you went through. I'll put the video somewhere in here, but this cute little mini door that you went through, there was like another entrance to it obviously, but it was still super, super cute. They also had a couple t-shirt designs that were really cute and they had socks, bookmarks, stickers, cards, all of that jazz but this was a really, really cute bookstore. Okay, I think this is the bookstore that everybody else got Gothicana at, and I was going to get it, but I was like, to justify $30 on a book is just a lot, but I felt left out, so I literally went on Amazon and just ordered Gothicana. So I'm now part of the group that has this book, and I'm very excited to read it. Also, hello, gorgeous. So um, yeah, I ended up getting it, but not while we were there. And also didn't feel like I had the space. I brought an empty carry-on with me, like a personal item, like my backpack was pretty empty when I got there, but I still felt like I wasn't gonna have enough space for all the books that I wanted to bring with me. I ended up not getting anything. And right after this, we went to Starbucks because I had not had any coffee yet. Everybody else had coffee at breakfast. Once I was caffeinated, I was ready to spend some money. So next stop was the bookshop, I believe. I went to Nashville like a month before this trip with my fiance and we were just exploring Nashville and happened to go to two bookstores while we were there. We went to the bookshop and we went to the library cafe, which are two that we went to on this trip as well. 
So we went to the bookshop and I think the bookshop's selection was not as large as the other bookstores that we went to. Bailey and Maddie were reading the independent chapter, the independent bonus chapter of Crescent City 3. And so as I was looking around, I found two books that I liked and I loved how I couldn't justify $30 on a book when we were at Parnassus, but was able to justify $30 on a book when we were at the bookshop. So I ended up getting Sanctuary of the Shadow and really what got me was the sprayed edges and also the end papers and the cover. I hope you can see that. Stunning, gorgeous, love her. And I f really feel like this was gonna be a fourth link situation where, you know what I mean. It was gonna be a fourth link situation and like you can't get the sprayed edges anymore. So I ended up getting this. I'm very excited to read this one, but yes, I did end up spending the entire $30 on this book. Do I regret anything? No, but really I needed the coffee to justify it because you got the coffee in your hand and you're just swirling it around and you're like yeah i could spend some money oh here i don't even need to pretend yeah i could spend some money also at the bookshop i got next of kin by hannah bonham young or bonham young hannah so i got this i've been wanting to read out on a limb which i've heard was really good but i know will make me cry i feel like this will also make me cry but the cover was really cute and I read the description and was like, yes, 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 absolutely. So I will be reading this one soon. But the bookshop was super cute. I also ended up getting a pin from there that said the bookshop. At this store, everybody else bought Bride by Allie Hazelwood. I am not an Allie Hazelwood fan, so I did not partake in that. But I did get those two books. Our next stop was Novelette, which was by far my favorite. The decor in there everything about this bookstore just felt right. It was a very Instagrammable bookstore, if you will. Everything was just aesthetically pleasing. The artwork on the walls, like everything about it was just so, so amazing. So at this bookstore, I think only two of us got something. I don't remember what book Bailey got, but I ended up getting The Prison Healer at this bookstore. I picked it up off the shelf. I know that Bailey had read it. So I picked it up and I was like, hey Bailey, did you like this book? And her and Maddie were both like, oh my God, it was amazing. So immediately, yes, had to buy it. But this bookstore was super cute. The person at the front, like the person who was checking us out was telling us about the book that she was reading. She was reading an arc that sounded actually really interesting, but also kind of terrifying. But I don't wanna to get into too much of those details because that's not really super important to this video. But they had a really, great selection at this bookstore. They also had an entire like SJM cart and shelf just for Throne of Glass and love to see it. So I absolutely love this bookstore. They also had books that were signed by local authors at this one. I could have easily spent two hours in this bookstore. It was just so comfy. I highly, highly, highly recommend going to Novelette Books. If you're in Nashville, Absolutely loved it, 10 out of 10. Then we went to Defunct Books, which was super cute from the outside. And we went in and it was just very cramped. And the person who was working there seemed like they did not want us in there and was just like bothered by our presence. It felt like, I think somebody said it felt like he was the book dragon and these are all his books and he like didn't want to part with them. So this was just like a quick stop in went in for a few seconds, not really for us. Didn't seem to be any of the type of books that we were looking for. Of course, we we're looking for fantasy and romance and that's just not really what was there. So it was a really quick stop into defunct books. But after that, we went to the library cafe, which I love the library cafe, super, super cute coffee shop and bookstore. They do have a very small selection as far as books go. They do have a lot of popular book talk books and I feel like the most they do have a lot of romance a lot of rom-coms Tessa Bailey this is the bookstore that they had like one copy of everything they did have the independent cover of Pestilence I love that book so much I ended up not getting anything here I think 
Chelsea got a book here. And then we completely walked out and Bailey was like, I feel like I should get something. And we were all like, yes, go get something. So we turned around. I think this is where Bailey got Normal People by Sally Rooney. And the, it's really cute here. They like put a little library cafe stamp. I have, I got uh, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies the last time that I went there. And I'm pretty sure they stamped the back. I hope you can see that the back cover so this is the little stamp that they put in your book and I think that's just such a cute little touch for an independent bookstore to do to like remind you of where you bought the book I absolutely love that I almost bought the second one but again I was really worried about space in my luggage I ended up having plenty of space but I was really worried about space in my luggage the selection of the library cafe was smaller it feels more like a coffee shop that happens to have books than a bookstore that happens to have a coffee shop. I hope that makes sense. But I thoroughly enjoyed this bookstore crawl. It was so much fun. And of course, right after, we went straight to the Airbnb, changed into pajamas, and just sat and read. Sat in silence and read together. I don't know about you, but that is some of like the best time for me to sit next to somebody else who's reading and just like relax and read. Amazing time. But I had such an amazing time in Nashville with the girls and I'm already planning the next trip. I think we're going to be going to Charleston, South Carolina. If you have any questions about the trip, feel free to DM me and I'm happy to answer any of your questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment which book I should start with first. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.